Now, welcome to another uh, Blacks and Technology video podcast. This is episode two. Uh, my name is Greg Greenlee, and this is my lab. Uh, I'm going to take you on a little tour, and I'm going to answer a couple of questions. So uh, we can start over here. Uh, this is a my library here. Basically, all my books that uh, I've read or want to read. Uh, a lot of them. Some of them I just skim through. Uh, some of them I read cover to cover, and uh, some of them I haven't even read yet. So that's um, a majority of my library right there. I still have books other in other places uh, sitting on desk. Uh, this is my my Linux laptop, uh, basically running Ubuntu, Linux, um, a whiteboard. Every lab needs a whiteboard to sketch out ideas and sketch out thoughts. And I'm the type of person that I can learn better when I write things down. So sometimes I write it down on a whiteboard and it makes more sense to me. So uh, if you if you are able to get a whiteboard in your lab, definitely get a whiteboard. It definitely helps. Uh, over here is basically what is my command center. Um, it is a three monitor setup. I need the real estate. I love the real estate of the three monitor setup. A computer, my, uh, one of the first computers that I actually built and is still running um, and that I use for my main computer. And um, over here is a shelf that I put together uh, when I was studying for my CCNA. I've got some routers and switches here, two 2500 uh, series routers, uh, 2950 switch, uh, 3600 series uh, router. Uh, below down here, have a couple of uh, other computers that I built. Uh, the one on the right here with the clear case is my uh, Linux file server. Uh, uh, also, I use it for uh, testing, uh, doing web stuff on it. It's running Apache as well, Samba, uh, and NFS. This is my, my VMware box. I actually bought uh, a computer. Uh, from a manufacturer and I took out the insides of that computer and I put it in this case because the case is bigger and I wanted to add more drives and other things so um, this is my VMware computer is running ESX uh, I VMware ASXI and that's why I got my VMware lab going so this that's my entire lab a um, couple other things I got you know a monitor here with a KVM switch uh, for my two computers down here uh, but that's that's my lab. That's cool. Hey Greg, I have a couple questions for you about your lab. Okay. Have your lab actually helped you in your career? Uh, yeah. Uh, simply because I'm able to experiment. Uh, I'm able to help, uh, use it to help me study for certifications. I actually uh, got a job just off the simple fact that I mentioned to them that I had a lab. So um, it helped me get my, my first networking admin position, uh, and it still helps me today. Anytime I, um, I want to learn a new application or uh, any type of uh, new ex thing, period, I basically load it on my VMware um, box or uh, fire up a VM, and I just uh, start hacking around. Now, would you recommend having a lab to people in IT? Uh, yeah, definitely. If, if you can afford... Uh, to have a lab is definitely beneficial. Uh, if, if most people, some people are like me, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the type of person that learns by doing. So uh, reading in books is fine, and if that's the way you learn, then that's fine. But I, could, I, I need to kind of apply it to something. So when I read a book, it's, it's easier for me to, to grasp the concept if I'm able to actually go and uh, do whatever I, I read uh, in actual uh, an actual lab so so <clears throat> what do you have planned for your lab in the future a um, couple of things that I want to do um, I want to um, I'm going to be studying for my CCMP so there's uh, some more Cisco equipment that I want to uh, acquire uh, one of the uh, things that I think is going to be uh, real soon is I want to um, replace the processor uh, in my, my VMware box. Um, unfortunately, when I bought my VMware machine, uh, when I bought the computer, uh, I didn't check the specs out on it closely enough and see that the um, the processor wasn't VT enabled. 
so I'm not able to actually run any 64-bit OS's or anything on it. So what I want to do is I want to upgrade my processor so that I can, um, you know, work with 64-bit uh, OS's because uh, cer certain uh, OS's nowadays, especially for Microsoft, only run on 64-bit architecture. So that that's probably the um, the thing in the future that I'm going to be doing. Cool. I have a bonus question for you. Uh -oh. Now, what will be your dream lab? How big would it be? What would you have in it? If you had all the money in the world to just build this awesome lab, what would you do? Wow. Uh, hmm. That's a tough one. <laughs> Where'd you get that bonus question from? Um, I guess if I had my, my dream lab, I would make, I would actually create a mini data center. Uh, and be able to throw some rack servers in there, uh, some you know some extra cooling and power to, to power my my racks, uh, and have uh, and basically um, try to uh, use some open source software for for a virtualization like Zen, and just build like a mega lab, you know, using a lot of uh, virtualization technology. All right, pretty cool. Well. Yeah. That's all the questions I have. Do you want to tell us anything else about your lab? Uh, tune in next. Uh, we're going to preview Ronnie's lab.